Well, hello again from Kingston, where for the first two days this week, we wondered if we wouldn't have been better building an ark than a bridge. But by Friday, the weather had cleared up, as you can see, and I'm um, going to tell you all about the week. Thanks again for watching. This week began in a distinctly unpromising fashion. One or two important tasks were completed and deliveries of gravel took place on Monday. But the cranes were at rest and the majority of the workforce enjoyed an early finish. Tuesday morning brought an equally wet day but a shipment of reinforcing rod wouldn't unload itself and it had to be moved to the causeway and up onto the steel structure. But by lunchtime the truck was unloaded and headed back for Victoriaville in Quebec. Wednesday dawned bright and clear with intense activity on top of the steel structure. Rebar, staged the day before on the causeway, was lifted to the deck. In a major development, the first of the temporary platforms for the West Lookout was installed. And all the while, the work of installing the massive angle brackets for the temporary safety sidewalk continued. Work on both of these activities would continue throughout the week. Which would lead to this situation on Friday, with the west platform complete, placement of quick-release boards on the east lookout, suggesting that concrete may soon be poured. And we can't begin to overlook the immense amount of work being done by ABF, already to install reinforcing rod. Here's a look at the overall situation going into the weekend. Quite a bit of work went into preparing the sidewalks to receive concrete using the forms already placed. Some final preparations by Sousa on Thursday led to a first concrete pour on Friday. While there may be a lot of machinery involved, a great deal of the final quality is derived from scrupulous hand finishing. At the intersection of Gore Road and Highway 15, a great deal of work continues to go into installing drainage including, exceptionally, on a very wet Saturday. Earlier in the week, on Thursday, Black and MacDonald, as part of their ongoing work, excavated a hole for a lamp post, placed a sonar tube, and then laid connecting conduit. Bottom of Gore Road, by the bridge, 
a great deal of effort is going into preparation of the roadway that will link to Highway 15. But as this shows, there's still work to be done on drainage and other utilities. Before we leave the East End, I want to look at just one more thing. There seem to be a lot of concrete forms in the East Laydown, and I just wonder if those are for the final stage of the East Abutment. Although they're not evident here, they're trialling new floats for the turbidity curtain on the west side. But the most obvious activity this week was another round of concrete laying by the Gomaco machine. And work to complete the green wall deserves a mention. There'll be better coverage next week if the weather conditions improve. Must be time for wildlife. That's another week in the bag. Thanks again for watching these uh, updates. If you like them, please subscribe and consider inviting others to do so. We'll see you next week. Let's hope for better weather.